Hey, hello, my name is Kenny Bayer. I'm from Copenhagen, Denmark. I run a label called Music for Dreams and uh, I've been running a nightclub called Coma Club since 88, the Danish equivalent to Shum, Spectrum and Future in London. And also kind of like the same as, of course, Hacienda in Manchester. I started my DJ career in 79 uh, sitting in Denmark in a small city where I grew up called Hobro, where it's about, it's a city, not a city, you can almost, it's, I think it's called a town. And there's about 10,000 people. I was listening to Radio Luxembourg and buying all the imports from um, the 12 inches from London, from the great record stores there. I was playing some fantastic uh, underground records in my hood. Uh, I came to play in the, in the biggest club in Scandinavia in 82 which was, at the time, the Danish equivalent to Campen Palace. The kind of music I played was something like, at the time, that um, uh, Colin Favor and Ross Egan would, were doing at the time. I was playing stuff like Africa Bombarda, uh, Japan, uh, electronic body music, Fatback, James Brown, Sly and Robbie Dub music, and of course, some of the old uh, um, uh, stuff like the beat specials uh, from the UK scene. And then um, I started doing my own first event in 85, which was called Amok, which um, was uh, a club or an, an event where we had um, the doormen were dressed up like the people from uh, Clockwork Orange. We had in the toilets, there was a lot of things from, uh, you know, a kiddie shop. So when you had to go to the toilet, you actually had to step up because there were so many toys and um, in the toilets. And we had on the dance floor, we had popcorn. We had a boxing ring in the middle of the dance floor and we had Lolita dolls on, in the ceiling. And I was also very lucky in, I think, 88 or 89 to play, to be one of the very few Europeans, I think actually only Alfredo and me played in uh, Spectrum in London. In 1982, I was on holiday for the first time in Ibiza and uh, stayed in San Antonio. And by luck, I strolled by and visited Café del Mar and heard that fantastic feeling. I think in 94, I released my first compilation called Music for Dreams, which was uh, a compilation which had Peter Gabriel, Michael Nyman, uh, Enigma, the German Spoon remixes, and so on and so on. And the, um, then we released, uh, on my label, we released Ambient Ibiza, uh, three compilations in the 90s. And that all was leading up to me starting the label Music for Dreams in, the, in around 2000. And we've released until today about 77 albums. And uh, from the UK, I'm pretty sure that you are where we signed Phil Meissen, a.k.a. Cantoma. And he also did another album on, on my label called Frontera. And um, last year, I was a resident at Cafe Mambo in Ibiza, and I did 13 events on Sundays, having lots of international Balearic DJs coming there to play. And um, we've been doing some events there this year as well. And we've uh, managed to get our vinyls up and running. So we, we're releasing a lot of vinyls. We're releasing 10 or 12 this year uh, in, in 2014. And we've already got a, a long list of uh, beautiful releases coming up in 2015. And at the same time in Denmark, I do uh, six events at a place called uh, Luciana, which is kind of like the Guggenheim of uh, Denmark. And uh, we have international guests, and we have international uh, and Danish live acts. Um, and at the same time, I'm doing three or four parties in Denmark, the Coma Club parties. And I also run a festival called the Appleflower Festival, where we, uh, the first year, we had like a uh, combination of live acts and also DJs. We had Phil Meis and Lex. And last year, we had Basso take Taco and Abel from Red Light. And I do this event or this festival together with the founder of the new Nordic cuisine, the guy who invented Noma, who has been, I think, winning the world's best restaurant for three years in a row. It's a guy called Klaus Meyer. 
and it's about to start in 2015. The um, I think a, a big big thing in the uh, uh, Grand Central Station in New York, like a food place. So he's exploring the Danish cuisine into New York next year. I'm here visiting uh, the Leeds Yacht Club uh, and playing together with Rough Dog. And I'm actually in the UK uh, signing Rough Dog for an album that's going to be released on Music Dreams in 2015. And it's called Island Life. As a DJ, I've been very, very lucky to be in the top 100 of DJs and I've also been very uh, happy to play in the uh, late uh, 80s together, of course, with uh, Alfredo, DJ Pibi and Cesar in, uh, in Ku, Amnesia and uh, Pacha and Space. And um, uh, I had a record out in the early 90s, I think in 90, called uh, Chaos by Dr. Baker, which was sampled later by uh, David Morales, uh, Future Sound of London, The Shaman, just Wink and uh, Masters at Work. And uh, today I'm, uh, I'm also an artist myself, releasing stuff under the name or the moniker, the Kinebaya Experience. And uh, I work with uh, such great people as Julie Cruz, uh, who's famous for her work with uh, the Twin Peaks soundtrack. And I work with um, Jean-Luc Pontu, the uh, world famous violin player. And also, um, on my latest album, I got some great guests uh, from... Uh, I work with Allo Black and also Damon C. Scott, the singer from Storm Queen. And I was also lucky to uh, stumble into Sophie Grobbel, who is the leading actress from the TV series Cult, TV series The Killing. She's doing a track on the album. The album is called Follow the Beat. And her track, she's featured on the track called What's My Name. I love doing radio. I started doing uh, national radio uh, program like uh, something like a cross between John Peel, Pete Tong and uh, Rob the Bank in Denmark. And I've been doing it for four decades, the 80s, the 90s, the zeros and the tenors. Uh, and uh, also the last six years, I've been doing a regular radio show on Ibiza Sonica every Monday mornings. Music Dreams, my label, we've been releasing, I think we've gone to 77 uh, albums so far and a lot of vinyls. Uh, and we sold actually over two million copies and uh, we've had two number ones in Germany. And I think uh, our biggest seller in the kind of more ambient uh, has been Bliss, and which were very famous for their track called Kissing. And also we released uh, the Danish Balearic Masters laid back who were famous for White Horse, Sunshine Reggae, Baker Man. And uh, the one they released, uh, which I think is, has become a classic now, is Beautiful Day. And Music of Dreams is also in 2015 branching into a new territory. We're going to launch like a small collection of uh, t-shirts and actually some socks and so on. And the first uh, thing we're going to do is a limited edition with a vinyl and also a t-shirt. And we're doing the launch the 20th of January in Berlin under the Fashion Week. So hope to see you there.